What up, G Life? It's your boy MC Shadow back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. It don't cost a damn thing. You help my channel get into the algorithm. I highly appreciate if you go ahead and do that. Right? Don't forget to check out my second channel, Man in Society, more day where we talk about stuff outside of the streets. Now, what I wanted to get into was actually um, a conversation that I was having with one of my coworkers. Right? Um, he, he's not a gangbanger, you know what I mean? But he did grow up, you know, in East LA and. You know what I mean? He has family who are, you know, G-related, right? But he's not into all that, right? But, you know, he does follow, you know, the Chicano rap and, you know, he likes the low riders and stuff like that, right? But he's not a banger. And um, he was telling me, like, hey, if I seen, you know, all this with Bozo and G-Face and et cetera, right? About this phone call and wooty wooty wah. Right? He's like, hey, man, you know, he's going in on him. Hey, you think that that phone call's true? Like... You know, um, you think what he said about Viloco is true? Like, hey, um, hey, but what do you know about all of that, you know? And I told that fool, hey, my boy, but you don't gangbang, though. He's like, oh, I know, I know, but I'm just trying to see, like, what's up, you know? Like, because that fool's, you know, you know, you know, if he's this or if he has a jacket on him or or if he, if he dropped out, you know, like, I don't want to be messing with that. And I go, bro, you don't gangbang, though. I'm not going to tell you because... You don't need to know because you don't gangbang. Why do you need to know this information? Why do you care about this information? You know what I mean? I told them I didn't mean to dis I don't mean to disrespect or nothing like that, you know, but at the same time, I could only be honest. I could only keep it 100 right here, bro. I don't mean to disrespect nobody. I'm not trying to be an asshole. But it's like, you are you don't gangbang. You're not from the streets. Why do you need to know? And why do you care to know? It's not, it has nothing to do with you, you know, but I understand it's not their fault that they're, you know, asking these questions, right? Because none of this shit should be on the internet, period, bro. If I know some paperwork on somebody, bro, I'm not going to put it out there. I'm not going to throw it out there, bro. I'm not going to do that. I'll never do that. Paperwork is meant for the homeboys and the barrios to stay within the barrio, right? You know, only we're supposed to know, not civilians, not people that are not street related to give their opinions what should happen what should they do what shouldn't people do who the fuck are they to give their opinions on the streets on their barrios on how barrios should conduct business how they should take care of business how shit should be handled that is up to the barrio and is made for the barrio only if you have some pay bad paperwork on, on, on an individual you you get a hold of somebody from that, that fool's barrio and you go bam I te va compa and then you leave it up to them. You, you don't throw it out there for people to be saying this, this, and that. And it's crazy because a lot of people disrespect youngsters and, and that the youngsters, you know, are reckless and this and that. But a lot of the bickering that goes on the internet is done by older homies. You know? And you got to lead by example. And if that's, you know, if that's what they're showing, then that's... That's why these individuals choose to flash guns and do all the things that they do if their older homies are doing it. You know what I mean? Is none of this stuff, like whatever people's business or what situations they're in or, or whatever, is not up to me. It's not up to the audience. It's not up to nobody but their individual and their barrios to handle it and, and, and whatever issues they got. There's none of my business, none of my concern. You know what I mean? Who am I to be voicing my opinion? I'm nobody, just like everybody else. And you know, don't worry about them and their situation and their mix, bro. Look, I'll tell you something. If these people are, are no good or these people are bad or, or anything like that, those who need to know will know, right? So if you need to know, you will know, right? And word travels and you can just ask, you know how to ask. If you're from the streets, you know how to, you know how to, you know how to tap in, bro. You know how to network. Don't act like you don't know how to network. You know what I mean? So people know who's good and who's not good and who's really relevant and who's not, bro. You know how to find out. So don't act like you need the internet to give you that information. Because if you do, then I'm sorry you're not tapped in then. Those who need to know will know. Those who don't need to know. There's no reason for you to know. Or for you to care, for that matter. It's not, it doesn't concern you. You know, what people have going on and shit like that. If you're not from the streets. 
Not to sound trying to sound super gangster, super tough, or like you know what it. But those that's the damn truth, bro. Those are the fucking facts. You know, if somebody has anything like that, bro, I'm not gonna go to the internet and throw it out there, bro. I'm just not gonna do that. Like, hey, sabes que, homie? You know your homie right here. He's and you go and fix that. And you make sure you put your name on it. That way, if there are allegations or whatever, then homies could just tap in and be like, hey, homie, hey, this fool said chale, so, like, you know, what's up now? You know, now you, since you put your face out there, now you got to handle that. Or, or serio, all right, then we can meet up and woo-woo, and I said, like, los problemas, compa. It's like the streets is supposed to, you know? Not like some anonymous tip or whatever. No, 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 no. You said it. You stamp it. You put your face on it. No, now you go and handle that. Right? But to try to convince the audience that you're actually super gangster or you're actually legit or solid, why do you look to do that? Do you need their approval for... Does the audience now validate you as a, a real street individual, a real gangster? No, right? You know how to earn them stripes. You know where your street credit is at. You know whose opinions really matter when it comes to the street life. The whole audience could think that you're a real gangster, but if you're no good, guess what? Where it really counts, homie, you're going to get eaten up alive by the lions. So it doesn't even matter that everyone thinks that you're super gangster because where it counts, where it actually really counts, it's not going to make a fucking difference. So as long as you know that you're solid here... Then now here, whatever everyone else says, let them believe whatever the fuck they want. It's irrelevant where it really counts. You get what I'm saying? If you know what you have done and that you know that you're solid, if you know that you're solid and your people know that you're solid, then let the internet think whatever the fuck they want because it's irrelevant at the end of the day. You get what I'm saying? Let people believe whatever they want. It don't matter. It's not. It doesn't make it true. It doesn't make it facts. It's not gonna actually matter here. You know. So all this throwing paperwork out there and putting people's business out there, like when it comes to neighborhood related wise news, that's yeah, crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, if I was to do some shit like that, my neighbor would be like, "Hey, homie, what you doing?" It's wild. But overall, I'm not to be an asshole, you know what I mean? Not to sound like, you know, like I'm trying to disrespect people and stuff like that. Bro, but it's the truth. It shouldn't matter to those, you know, so what, 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 whether I think the phone call is real or not, bro, like I said, bro, it's not my place to say and, and, and what they will, bro. Like, whatever people have to handle, they'll go and handle it. You know what I mean? I could only worry about me and do me and, you know not worry about the internet games because now it, it became like what's real and what's not real who's telling the truth and who's not that this whole you know power struggle for 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 fame and stuff like that is i don't know bro i just don't even you know bother no more <laughs> you know what i mean but that's the honest truth bro like it doesn't even matter what my opinion is you know what i mean like you know what i mean it's that beef is between those individuals. Yeah, a ver cómo se arreglan los compas, you know? You know what I mean? Um, like I said, if you really, truly will know someone's no, no good, then you will find out. Or you will end up finding out or you will know. You know what I mean? You don't have to rely on the internet for that. But I'm just saying, shadow, we out. <laughs>